Welcome to the Paygate PayWeb Not Commerce 4 plugin setup video. To start, head over to the GitHub repo releases page and download Not Commerce 4 Paygate PayWeb 3 plugin 4.0.2 at the time of the recording. Your version may be a little bit higher. Once downloaded, extract your zip. This will result in a folder. Inside this folder you'll have payments.paygate and you'll also have the setup instructions. This video will run you through the plugin setup instructions. Let's make this human size. Okay. So for step one, it says the plugins window is accessed by selecting plugins, local plugins, from the configuration menu in the administration area. So we're going to hop over to the administration area. Okay, so then we go to configuration and plugins, local plugins. Okay, now before Paygate will appear here, we have to actually upload the files. You can do this over FileZilla or direct on the server. In this example, I'm actually going to copy the folders directly. Okay, so I'm going to copy payments.paygate. You'll see that all of the stuff's inside there. Okay, so navigate to your root directory, your NotCommerce for root directory, open up plugins. And you can just paste it here. I'm going to say Control V. You can also right click and say paste, or you can do this via your FTP client like FileZilla. Make sure that it finishes copying everything. You'll notice the other payment plugins are also there. The default ones are PayPal Direct, PayPal Standard, Square, etc. Okay, once done, we can now close this. And the next step um, says after copying the payments.paygate folder to the plugins folder in your not commerce directory restart your application or click reload list of plugins button so you can if you have access to the server you can restart the app or you can do the following okay so we're going to go over to dashboard you click the settings um, button in the top right hand corner and you can say clear cache you now come back up here and you say restart application Once the app is restarted, you go to configuration, go to plugins, you go to local plugins, and you can just hit reload list of plugins there. Step three says you click on the install link to install the plugin. So we're going to do that quickly. We scroll down, we find Paygate, we say install. Step four says if you're running not commerce and medium trust, then it's recommended to clear your plugin bin directory. So if you are running your not commerce and medium trust, just clear that. Um, in this case, we're not. So after installing, you'll see that um, you have the configure option now. You can hit configure there and you see you've got, you can use sandbox. These settings will work just to do some testing and that's it. Um, if we go to the checkout, you'll see that Paygate will actually be configured and it will show up now. Okay, in this case, it's in New York. You might want to do this in RANDs. Um, but there you go, Paygate shows up on the checkout. You could say continue, continue. And if you've been configured everything correctly, after you say confirm, it will go to the Paygate payment page. As you can see here, we've got the payment page. Uh, and that's it. You have configured Paygate correctly.